I'm Swami and our project is Freedom for All. In the United States, equal rights for women has involved faster than many Latin American countries. For example, Mexico granted all women the right to vote and participate in government in 1953. I'm Amy and women have been making great strides to level the playing field for equal rights and freedom since the 19th century. I'm Jada, and here are nine women that have fought or are fighting for all people to have the freedom to be treated fairly and equally. So one of my women is Isabel Allende. Isabel Allende is from Peru and Chile. She is an author and an activist. One of her famous quote was, I can promise you that women working together, linked and informed and educated can bring peace and prosperity to this forsaken planet. And it's this one. And she is Isabel Allende. Ellen Ochoa is an American astronaut and an administrator who was the first Hispanic woman to travel into space in 1933. And one of our fam famous quote is, "Don't be afraid to reach for the stars." Berta Caceres was an internationally recognized award-winning Honduran environmental and civil rights activist. Caceres dedicated her life to fighting injustice that occurred in Honduras. Caceres' fame came from the environmental issues that conceded with her civil rights fight. A lot of her fights were directly against the Honduran government and large Honduran cooperations making her unpopular amongst the country's ally. Caceres was murdered in March of 2016. And she's Berta Caceres. And one of her famous quote is, we must shake our cons conscience free of the respicious capitalism, racism, and patriarchy that will only assure our own self-destruction. Okay. What? Okay, so Carmen Gaite is from Spain and <laughs> is a Spanish writer. She was one of the only two females in the Spanish Royal Academy, and this is her. Um, Dolores Huerta is from New Mexico, and she is a civil rights activist and labor leader and she was inducted into the Women's Hall of Fame and awarded the Presidential Award of Freedom. That's her. And Rigoberta Menchu is from Guatemala, and she became an activist at a young age, and her family was tortured and killed, so she had to flee to Mexico. And she wrote a book about her life and earned a Nobel Peace Prize for continuing to make peace even after her family's death. That's her book. Frida Kahlo was a Mexican painter and she didn't conform to gender stereotypes and she was part of the Communist Party. And this is her. The Mirabal sisters were Dominican and they were four sisters. They opposed to the, dicta the dictatorship of Rafael Trujillo. The assassinations turned the Maribel sisters into symbols of both popular and feminist resistance. They distributed pamphlets about the many people who Trulio had killed and obtained materials for guns and bobs, bombs to use when they eventually open revolted. The sisters called themselves Las Mariposas. And this is them. Michelle Branchelet was the president of Chile the first person, an execu executive director of the newly cre created <laughs> created Una United Nations entity for gender equality and the empowerment of women. She was the first person, the first president of Chile to be reelected re since 1932. And this is her. Violence against women in all its forms is a human rights violation. It's not something that any culture, religion or tradition propagate.